At this point, we are almost through with the design of the whole website. So after this video, we are only going to be left with one or two more videos and that will be all about the design. So our task in this video is to design the register or the sign up page. I'm going to open this on the finished project so that you can see what it looks like. So if you go to forward slash register, this is the page you're going to see and this is the page you're going to be designing. Alright, so to do that, let us go to our code base and in the root folder of our application, we'll create a file called register.html. We are going to fill it with some boilerplate code and the title is going to be register. Let's make sure we link to our CSS files in the head section of this file. So I'm going to open any file like index.html and copy a link to the admin star and the public.css files and paste it in the head section of our register.html file. Okay. The next thing I will do is we are going to wrap the entire page inside the page container as well. So I'm going to indicate with a comment here for page container. And then we will have a div with a class of default page container. And then inside that div, we will define the HTML for our form. But we already defined this form before in this course. So if you go to the admin section, slash admin slash users slash create, you're going to see the create user form in the admin section and it looks very similar to that our register form. So we are just going to copy the style for this and use it on our register page. So this file in our code base is found inside the admin folder, specifically under users, and then create that HTML. So we are copying only the form element. So everything between the opening and closing form, we'll select and copy. And then we come to our register.html and paste it inside page container. Okay, let's just start modifying it from the bottom here. Um, the page or rather the button is going to be a long button that takes up the entire width of the form. So let's add a class of long btn. And the text on the button is going to say register. And we are not going to have links to the social media of our profiles. So I'm going to remove all three. I'm also going to remove the bio as well as the rule. Okay, so I remove all of them. And then at the top here, the form should say uh, sign up in its title. And then after the register button, we have to uh, add a link to the login page. So we'll add a paragraph with a class of center and inside that paragraph we'll have a small element to make sure that the font size here is small and the text is only going to say already have an account you can log in okay so this is just so that when the user for whatever reasons happens on this page, they can, when they already have an account, they can quickly switch to the login page and log in instead. Okay, so let us open this on our browser and see what it looks like. So we will go to um, register.html. Okay, so because we still have this small box class, the form has a small width. I'm going to remove this because we will control the width with a different CSS on the public section. All right, so now the form extends to fill up the entire page container. So one thing I've noticed here is that this button or rather this image placeholder is a little bit too big. The same thing with the admin section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open star or the admin star.css and um, that button has a class of change avatar btn so this is the selector for it i'm going to change the height and the width from 150 to 100 pixels 
and I think this looks better. Okay, so now let us control the width of the form. For that, we are going to assign a new width or rather a new CSS to the form itself. So after the admin form, we are going to add auth form. And we will add this select, we will copy this selector into our public.css file. At the very end of the file, we are going to indicate with the comment here that these are styles for auth pages. Okay. So we are going to give it a max width of 400 pixels and then a width of 100% to ensure that it's responsive on mobile devices. We give a padding at the top of 30 pixels, 20 pixels at both sides and then 20 pixels at the bottom. We give a border radius of 5 pixels so that it has slightly rounded edges. So we go back to the browser and refresh and this is beginning to look like the finished project. So the next thing we need to add is this patterned background uh, styles. So for that, we are going to visit a website called heropatterns.com. And on this page, you're going, you can see many uh, kinds of patterns that you can apply on your website. So the one we are using on this project is called bubbles. So I'll just press command or control F and type bubbles and it will take us to the one we are looking for. So when you click on it, you can actually uh, change the styles by clicking on the foreground color, modifying it and then, oops, then clicking on the background color and modifying it as well. Okay, when you're satisfied with the result, you can click on this text here and you will copy, it will copy, it will select all the styles. Then you can right click and take copy. And then on the register page, we are going to give the body element a class of BG pattern. And then we define this inside our CSS just after the selector for body. So we will just paste those styles we copied here. And then let's make sure we add a height of auto so that it extends to fill up the entire height of the body. So let's go back and refresh. Okay. And it looks a bit like what we want. Um, you can further uh, change the styles here. You can further um, modify it, then copy. and paste and you keep doing that until until you are satisfied with the result okay i'm just going to leave it like this for now and let us proceed with the last uh, thing we need to do on this form which is the box shadow so for the box shadow there's also a website let's just see our box let's just search for box shadow patterns then it will take you to cssgenerator.org or any of such websites. Then you can play around with the box shadow. And when you're satisfied with the result, you just click copy down here and it will copy all the properties. I already prepared something for this tutorial, so I'm just going to paste that one instead. So let's scroll to the very bottom and on the auth form, we are going to paste the box shadow property then when we do that and we refresh the finished project this is what we get and it looks quite similar to what we have on the finished project now let us inspect element use the inspect element to test if uh, this website or if this form is responsive okay and sure enough it is okay and with that um we are through the design of the sign-up page. 